I'm almost finished painting Andrasta, but there's a big part left to do, and that part is her wings. So to stop myself overthinking about how to paint them, I'm challenging myself to use as few paints as possible. Painting something like Andrasta's wings can seem a little intimidating because they're such an important part of the model. And if you're anything like me, you're going to start overthinking about how you're going to paint it. So not only is this a challenge to see if I can paint the wings with minimal paints, but it's also a challenge for me to stop overthinking sometimes and look at it in a simpler way. I started off with two thin layers of Corax white and before long I started having a hard time with one of the wings that kept falling out of the toothpick that it was fixed it. I have blue tack holding them in but one of them just wouldn't stay on so I had to give in and put a tiny drop of super glue on it and hopefully it won't be an issue later on when I try to remove it from the toothpick. Once dry, I went with a 3 to 1 mix of Briar Queen Chill and Lemon Medium all over the wings. This really adds a light ethereal feel to the wings. When dry, I applied another layer onto the wings recesses. This is going to make the next stage's highlights really pop out. Next, I highlighted the edges of each feather with a thin down Ultuan Grey. Now this part is a little tedious and my hand really started to cramp up after a while, but it was going to be worth it. During this stage, the wings were really wobbling a lot on the two picks, so I had to cut them in half and stick them back to the base to make them more sturdy. With the first part of the highlights on, I added further highlights of Ultuan Grey onto the tips of the wings and on the stem parts that run through some of the centre of the feathers. And with that, I thought I might be done, but with me being me, I couldn't just leave it at that. I kept feeling that there was one more part that I could add, something that I think the wings needed as a finishing touch to tie everything together. So I turned to the old reliable dry brush, the large dry brush, and I lightly started dry brushing on white scar, but mostly focusing on the tips of the wings. This really helps blend the white parts into the bluish tone of the Briar Queen Chill. And after some finishing touches on Yandrasta, the wings were finally put on, and the final results look like this. The centerpiece of my Coastal Knights army is finally finished. I must admit that the idea of painting the wings was more intimidating than actually painting them. I planned out what I was going to do and with just 4 paints I was able to get a really good result. I'm really happy how the Coastal Knights turned out. I tried something new on almost every unit. Painting white armour, lifelike fur, painting power weapons that actually look like power weapons and then finally it was the angelic wings to finish it off. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something from it. I will leave links in the description below where you can get everything used in this video as it greatly helps the channel. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.